Are you a princess? It has been an honour to have represented the Queen as Lord High Commissioner. As Catherine and I travelled around Scotland and met Scots of all faiths and none, we saw how much work is being done. Allow me to share with you some of the stories we've heard this week. The football fan who told me, whilst keeping one eye on the Scottish Cup final, that he was pulled back from the brink of suicide by a trusted friend who was there for him in his time of need. Betty, the 96-year-old star of the show at Queen's Bay Lodge, who is full of beans despite the horrid year she's had. Betty's certainly got my number. Brave Mila, 91 years Betty's junior and a star of Hold Still, who Catherine was thrilled to meet in person earlier today. NHS staff who we met at the drive-in cinema last night at Holyrood House. Their dedication, commitment and personal sacrifice is truly extraordinary. Good evening everybody and welcome to this special screening of Disney's Cruella here at the Palace of Holyrood House. As joint patrons of NHS Charities Together, William and I are absolutely delighted that so many of you could join us here tonight. We wanted to thank you for the extraordinary dedication, commitment and personal sacrifice you have shown in supporting our communities through this pandemic. Over the last year or so, William and I have spoken to many NHS workers and heard firsthand what it has been like to be on the front line fighting COVID-19, supporting those suffering from the disease as well as their families, and heroically putting the needs of others ahead of their own, day in, day out. William and I invite you to grab your popcorn, cuddle up under your blankets, and be transported to 1970s Britain for an evening of much deserved fun, drama, glamour, and escapism. We wish you a truly wonderful evening and once again, our heartfelt thanks for all you are doing. I am shaped by this place. The abiding affection I feel for it is rooted in my experience of its everyday life, in people, relationships, and its ethic of neighborliness. Jordan, the inspirational founder of Heavy Sound in East Lothian, who has used his own difficult experiences to give back to vulnerable young people through music, sport, and art. The students of St Andrews, who struck us by the innovative ways they had come together to support each other and build relationships through finding common ground across different faiths, cultures and backgrounds, and by how much younger they looked than us. It was wonderful to be back in St Andrews and walk down memory lane together. These people make Scotland the vibrant, friendly, innovative and determined place Catherine and I love and is so important to us. For the people of Scotland, who have afforded us such a warm welcome, see you soon. <laughs>